Hi, I just woke up, and I have never gotten that much hate in my entire career on TikTok for anything. And yet, for me saying that water doesn't directly hydrate your skin, I have been called stupid and condescending and worthless and ugly by thousands of people. I'm a human being, and I... I... I feel that every single time you say something like that, it hurts. And I don't think you guys realize that. And I only provide facts and unbiased sources. I do all of my research for hours and hours every single day. Like, I'm a person. If you don't believe me, I will include my sources from now on, but I usually do on the rest of my channel. But again, like, I'm a human being. And... <laughs> Please go watch that video before you watch mine. You will see peak stupidity and the reason why we learn biology in schools. So let's start it. First statement, humans don't originate from Pangaea, they originate from Africa. Since Pangaea was a thing 300 million years ago. On the other hand, Homo sapiens, 7 million years ago. The second very, very incorrect statement, being white is not a genetic mutation. By that statement, you're denying the basics of Darwinism and natural selection. Let me explain. Back then, you could only get vitamin D from the sun. And you can guess what regulated that vitamin D intake. Skin color. This is why black people are black. They used to live around the equator, which is a place with a lot of sunlight. And through natural selection, black people were much more favored in that environment. Since black people get much less vitamin D, they already had enough sunlight. Same thing for white people. White people used to live far from the equator. They had to be white to get much more vitamin D from much less sunlight. Again, through natural selection. This whole process is called allopatric speciation. It's one of the core concepts of Darwinism. Please, search it up. Ada kau merasanya awak dah tahu dah kenapa orang dulu dulu panggil burung ni burung hantu. Dia orang ni terbang senyap sangat. Jom kita layankan satu eksperimen yang dibuat oleh BBC. Dia orang ni letakkan mikrofon banyak-banyak and also burung terbang daripada hujung sampai ke hujung untuk rekod bunyi. Jom kita dengarkan. Amazing, kau-kau dia ni terbang tak ada bunyi And, bila dikaji-kaji, rupanya dia orang tengah ni macam ada velvet sikit, bulu lembut lah Atas ni pula, bulu dia disusun cantik sama dengan bawah dia Untuk menyebabkan bila dia terbang, dia tak kacau angin sangat Kau-kau So, tak heran lah, kau bayangkan orang dulu Tengok burung ni terbang tapi tak ada bunyi langsung Macam, tu burung kan, tu Wah <laughs> I just found my presentation that I showed to my whole class about mitosis and I'm just going to show you. So it starts off with a classic mitosis joke. Today we're going to learn about mitosis. I need your undivided attention. Yep, I threw a meme in there. Then I've gone for some funky animations. Bam! Essential for growth and repair of cells and tissues, but it's also used in asexual reproduction. But what are the stages? And then I just threw in a picture of Kylie and Kendall Jenner. And bro, Kendall Jenner stands on Kylie's foot. Kylie shouts at Kendall, ow, oh, fuck's sake, watch out for mitosis. And then I put Paddy McGuinness in there. Jim, kita try. Actually, benda ni tak ada trik apa-apa pun tau. There is no gum. Just, kita grabkan dia dalam laju supaya dengan haba daripada friction tu, daripada geseran tu, dia akan cairkan sikit cat kita. Jadi, akan pelekat macam tu. Dia panggil sebagai micro welding. Just, saya minta sangat jangan buat kat rumah. Sebab dinding rosak, babe. Nampak tak warna-warna ni semua tu? Oh my god. Don't do that. Qual um tipo de informação que você aprendeu que parece legal só de você saber? Quando você tem um artigo científico que você tem que pagar por ele e você não consegue ele de graça, você vai fazer o quê? Você vai no DOI, copia esse link, você vem nesse site e cola o DOI. É só você clicar em Open. Tcharam! O arquivo inteirinho para você, de graça. 
now I drive alone past your street. The chain, the smuggle bricks, the chain. I tell. How did an animal cause this extremely disgusting traffic jam? The culprit was a hagfish, a bunch of hagfish that were in the back of a truck. And when hagfish get stressed out, they do something really weird. Their body secretes just a teaspoon of this protein, but that teaspoon almost instantly expands to 10,000 times its size. Scientists found out this is a defense against predators. They got camera footage of a shark biting it and then just gagging as it instantly chokes on all that slime and has to spit it out and leave. The slime itself is extremely simple. Two components, protein and mucus. So the military has really been studying this stuff, trying to figure out how they can use this. It's also one of the softest materials ever measured. Jello is 10,000 to 100,000 times stiffer than this slime. And it's not even sticky. They get it off by tying themselves in a knot, sliding through, and it's all gone. Are there any observable adaptations that have happened in recent human history? Yes, I'm gonna go over four that I think are the most interesting and all of these popped up in the last 10,000 years. I'm gonna talk about blue eyes, the sea nomads, our mouths, and our ability to digest milk, but I want you all to remember, none of these traits are more evolved than anyone else. Evolution is always happening and it's always moving through populations. The mutation that led to blue eyes popped up in a single ancestor between 6,000 and 10,000 years ago. It affects the OCA2 gene and it makes it so there's no melanin that's being created in the iris. So you're seeing right through what should be brown, which is where the blue comes from. The Bajau people are a seafaring population that relies heavily on the sea for their resources. It's pretty typical to see mutations among the spleens of marine mammals. In fact, some whales even have 14 spleens. And the Bajau people have a mutation like that on their spleen too. That enlarged spleen allows them to hold their breath for up to 13 minutes and dive up to 200 feet deep. Check it out. Vibe it. Really, really dig on it. And then, remember that feeling.